Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a very encouraging word from the Lord for you today. It is Thursday, March the 4th, and it's 1.53 p.m. Oh, hot dog, it's 1.53 again. <laughs> That's the number of fishes that they hauled in after Jesus rose from the dead. There, there's a significance to that number. Anyway, I'll move on. This was given to Victoria Ang, and it's titled, My Hand is Moving. It was put up on 444 Prophecy News, March 2nd of 21. And let's see, I'm trying to see. Wait a minute, it was posted on, well, they must be another country. 2021. 0302 so it must have been submitted on February 3rd no would that be March 2nd I'm sorry I have nothing against foreign people <laughs> or your ways of doing it our ways are probably wrong anyway we had to change it just to be contentious I suppose all right there's a big ad here for an, a water purifier. It doesn't look like it hold very much water to me. But anyway, the Lord speaks in many ways. As I was up at the barn doing chores and praying in the spirit, I felt a strong wind and felt the presence of the Holy Spirit Oh, that would be wonderful. I have felt the presence of the Holy Spirit, but not in a while. Not like before. I think things are just, it's like the calm before the storm, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I saw a vision of the Holy Spirit with both hands outstretched towards me. I didn't catch that before. A vision of the Holy Spirit. And heard him say, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There is no other God that is above me. And those are all bolded caps except the word God which is all lowercase now I'm wondering if she really saw the Holy Spirit or was she seeing a vision of God or was it Jesus I'd really like to ask her but I don't know how Anyway, let's move on. Y'all tell me what you think. You know, when you're having a vision or a dream, oftentimes you get knowledge downloaded. While you're seeing something, it's just downloaded into your spirit that what you're seeing is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is, of course, God. They're all equal. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're all equal. So, let's move on. My hand is moving mightily to knock down and destroy what the enemy is raising up. To try and destroy my children. My faithful. Tormenting with continual harassment and endless tactics. Trying to wear them down at every turn. Enough is enough. My grace is sufficient and my power is made perfect in your weakness. I was just told that scripture last night. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Know that I am always at work on your behalf. Even when it seems like I have deserted you and left you to your own demise, that's the enemy's lies. 
I am working all things together for good to those that love me and are called according to my purpose. I do not tarry, for my ways and timing is not yours. They are much higher. I see all things from the heavenly realm, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Much is unfolding that has been kept hidden right before your eyes. Keep your focus on me. I am making crooked paths straight. I am a way maker when there is no other way. Keep your faith and my peace shall be upon you. I will never leave nor forsake you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. After receiving the message, I was coming back from the barn and heard a bunch of commotion in the trees. And I see about 20 to 25 crows ganging up on a hawk to drive the hawk. Uh, or predator away and then in quotes and parentheses it says in the heavenly realm quote close parentheses dot 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 I ran back to the house to get my cell to take a picture after getting the picture I went to my back door and see a snake with its head raised up. Back door. I, I don't get the significance of the quotes. Is there a significance in that? She went to her back door and sees a snake with its head raised up coming out of its hiding place. Hmm. Hmm. Only God can cause these things to occur to match his words. The scriptures given are Second Corinthians twelve nine. And he said in the King James Version, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Romans 8, 28. King James Version. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that who are called according to his purpose. Deuteronomy 31.8, King James Version. I guess they're all KJV. Yeah, there's just one more. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. We serve an awesome God, y'all. This is Isaiah 45, verses 2 through 4. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant, 
for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Surnamed thee. I thought surname was your last name. But whatever. I should look that up in the Strong's. Because I didn't think they had last names then. It must mean they're, they're given birth name. Well, we know they, uh, when a mother had a child back then, she would, they somehow had, they knew the meanings of names. And the mother would name, especially a boy, by what it meant. More people should do that, I think. Okay, that's the end of this message. There's nothing else. Okay, so I will end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of us and all of our devices and over our internet connections. And may we be able to stay connected until we're out of here. And I pray that we are all found worthy to escape these things that are to come upon the earth and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21, 36. Keep looking up, brothers and sisters. Our redemption draws nearer than ever before. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.